lessons here uh, with title, by title and subject, where we can get you to understand your Bible a little bit more thoroughly. Uh, my name is Brother Ira. I will be reading for you. This is Bro Brother Stan. Welcome to the Bible in Plain View here at Israel Church of Jesus, Philadelphia, where we give you 30-minute lessons by subject and title to help you or to get you to understand your Bible a little bit more thoroughly. All right, my name is Brother Ira. I will be reading for you. Our teacher today is Brother Stan. His title today is, If Today Was Your Last, What Would Your Report Show? If Today Was Your Last, What Would Your Report Show? So without further ado, we're going to turn this over to Brother Stan. Thank you, Brother Ira. You got it. Yeah, like Brother Ira said, today's lesson is called, if today was your last, what would your report show? And that's a question, you know, like the previous lesson Brother Potts did, you know, a report is close to your name, or actually the same thing. So without further ado, we're just going to get straight into the scriptures because I got plenty here. Let's go to Job chapter 14. All right. Job chapter 14, and we're going to pick it up at verse one, brother, when you get it, kick it off. Man that is born of a woman mm -hmm. is a few days. So Job is letting us know that man that's born of a woman is a few days, meaning one day we'll see death. You know, we're going to see the dirt. Go ahead, brother. And full of trouble. And, and we also full of trouble, right? Go ahead. He coming forth like a flower mm -hmm. and it's cut down. Yep, just like you see them beautiful flowers they grow up. Then somebody come along and they cut them. They dead, right? Keep going. Yeah, go on. Um, he... He fleeth also as a shadow mm -hmm. and continueth not. And he continueth not, right? Mm -hmm. Skip down to verse 5. Seeing his days are determined, mm -hmm. the number of his months are with thee. Thou hast appointed his bounds that he cannot pass. See, because first of all, God has appointed a day for us. So, you know, Jesus is the only one that knew his time. None of us know our time. Right. Our time is always. Mm -hmm. You understand? So why are we reading this, Brother Ira? Well, first of all, Again, the title is, if today was your last, what would your report show? So I'm showing this to, that we need to consider death. Mm -hmm. None of us ever consider mm -hmm. death. We just can continue to live life, right. you know. Uh, but if you think about death, you may think about, you know, salvation and how to gain that. So it says here in verse 5, seeing his days are determined, the number of his months are with thee. What else? Thou hast... Thou has appointed his bounds. God appointed them bounds. We, I don't care how sick you are, when God ready for you, that bound is there. What right. else? That he cannot pass. Nobody can pass that. Everything's right. done by God. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. Keep, uh, skip down to verse 10, brother. But man dieth. So Job said all that to say this. He said, but man dieth. Mm -hmm. And that's why we read in this. So... If you know that you die, ask yourself, what is your report going to say mm -hmm. to God? Mm -hmm. Read it. But man dieth. But man dieth. Go ahead. And wasted away. Mm -hmm. Yay. Because we get old. Consider that. We're never young all the time. We act like we don't get old right. and gray and ache all over the place. Mm -hmm. So he says, but man dieth and wasted away. What else? Yay. Man, give him up the ghost. He give up that ghost, and then what happened? And where is he? That's a good question. Where is he? So when you give up that breath, where are you? Where do you go? Read it. As the waters fail mm -hmm. from the sea, mm -hmm. and the flood decayeth and dryeth up, mm -hmm. so man lieth down. You lie down. That's where you lying down. Where you lying down? At, and and riseth not. You lying down in the dirt. That's right. Dirt. It's that simple. The Lord said, from dust you came to dust you shall return. That's right. It's brother. that simple. Mm -hmm. So verse 12, so man lieth down and riseth not. Job is telling us something right here. So when you die, you stay in the dirt. You are not raising up till what? Till the heavens be no more. Oh, you know, when the heavens be no more, sound like Jesus is coming back that, when that sky right. rolled back. That's right. Till the heavens be no more. And what happened then? They shall not awake. Nobody's waking up till then. What else? Nor be raised out of their sleep. Nobody's being raised out of this sleep. Only the Lord could raise you out of this sleep. That's right, brother. Keep reading. Verse 13. Oh, that thou wouldest hide me in the grave. Notice what Job is saying. 
hide me in the grave because obviously Jove has some kind of knowledge right. about what's going on. Yeah, hide me in the grave, right? Mm -hmm. What else did he say? That thou wouldest keep me secret. Keep me secret. Why? Until thy wrath be passed. So, so he knows the Lord is coming with something. He ain't coming back to hug you. That's right. Not sweet Jesus. Nobody ever tell you that the Lord coming back to beat the world down, the sinners, those the disobedient children. Mm -hmm. Right. Keep reading. Oh, that thou would hide me in the grave, uh -huh. that thou wouldest keep me secret until thy wrath be passed. He said until thy wrath be passed. What else he said, brother? That thou wouldest appoint me a set Wait time. Wait a minute. He said that you would appoint me a set time. So obviously Job is aware about a set time that's appointed for him after he come out the grave when that sky cracked. Correct. Right? That's right. And what else did he say? And remember me. And what? And remember me. And remember me. me. Well, well, the question is, why is he telling the Lord to remember him? And what is it he's asking the Lord to remember about him? What, again, the title is, if today was your last, what would your report show? Obviously, he has a report to show to God. Mm -hmm. He said, remember me. Right. What else he say? Brother 14. If a man dies, uh -huh. shall he live again? Absolutely. He knows this. What else? All the days of my appointed time will I wait mm -hmm. till my change. You know come. where he waiting at? Where he came from the dirt. The grave. The grave. Mm -hmm. What else he say, brother? Thou shalt call and I will answer. Thee. Oh, he said the Lord is going to call at that time appointed. Mm -hmm. Appoint me a time. That's what he said. Right. And remember me. That's right. And he said thou shalt call and what? And I will answer thee. I will answer thee. What else? Thou will have a desire to the work of my, thy hand. That is some strong language. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So Job said, remember me. And again, the question is, what is he asking the Lord to remember him of? Well, let's go to chapter one. Okay. Let the book talk. Okay. Let's, let's do that. Chapter one, and we're going to pick it up at verse one, brother. So let's see what Job is asking the Lord to remember him about. Remember me. And, and, you know, and just like the previous lesson, it's, it's still about it. you leaving your name behind. You are leaving your name, your report. Read verse one. There was a man in the land of Buzz mm -hmm. whose name was Job. OK, so we still talking about Job, obviously. Right. Keep reading. And that man was perfect and upright. This man was perfect and upright. What else? And one that feared God and eschewed evil. Remember me, Lord. I was perfect and upright. I feared you and eschewed evil. Remember that. That's right. Sound like he got a good report. Good report so far. So if today was your last, what would your report say? Hmm. This is something you need to consider. This is something you got to ask yourself. Right. So let's keep moving. Let's go to first King. Let's go look at another example, brother. First Kings. And we're going to pick it up at uh, chapter two, brother. Okay. First Kings chapter two. Mm -hmm. And you can kick it off at verse one when you get it. First <laughs> Kings chapter two. And verse one. Yes, sir. Now the days of David drew nigh that he should die. OK, why do we keep reading this? Because I want to show you the report of some of these people in the Bible that they had with the Lord. So now we read right here. Now the days of David drew nigh that he should die. He about to die, man. What else? And he charged Solomon, his son, saying, what did he say to his son? I go all the way of the earth. I go all the way to the earth. You're going to that dirt. Go ahead. Be thou strong, therefore, uh -huh. and, and shew thyself a man. Shew thyself a man. He got a message for his son. He got some wisdom to give his boy. Right. Keep reading. And keep the charge of the Lord. Notice what he said, and keep the charge of the Lord. Obviously, be, be, David is the man after God's own heart. That's right. That's what the book said, that is, right? That's what it said, brother. He said, and he's telling Solomon to keep the charge of the Lord thy God. To do what? To walk in his ways. To, to sleep in his ways. No, no to no, walk no. in his ways. Walk in his ways. Not talk after his ways. Walk in them. It's an action word right here. What else you got to do? To keep his statutes uh -huh. and his commandments. Keep his laws and his commandments. What else? And his judgment uh -huh. and his testimonies. As it is written in the law of Moses, that thou mayest prosper in all that thou dost. That, they may, my, that you may prosper in all that you do. And what else? And, what, 
and whithersoever thou turnest thyself. What else he say to him, brother? That the Lord, that the Lord may continue his word, which he spake concerning me, Con saying, uh, saying what? If thy children take heed to their way. Notice, if thy children take heed to their way, David is making sure this message get out before he go. Read. To walk before me in truth with uh, all their heart. Yes, sir. And with all their soul. Uh-huh. There shall not fail thee, he said, saith he, a man on the throne of Israel. Okay, that's another title right there, but skip down to verse 10. <clears throat> so David slept with his father uh -huh. and was buried in the city of David. And what? And all the days that David reigned and all the days that David reigned over Israel were 40 years. Mm -hmm. Seven years reigned he in Hebron, and 30 and 3 years reigned he in Jerusalem. All right, now so we read right here that David slept with his fathers. He's dead. He's buried now. And he gave his son some wisdom before that, right? Mm -hmm. Now, let's go to chapter 15. Let's go see something. Mm -hmm. Chapter 15, brother. Let's go look at this a little bit. Chapter 15, and give me verse 1. Read it. Now, in the 18th year of King Jeroboam, mm -hmm. the son of Nebat, reigned Abijam over Judah. Uh -huh. Three years reigned he in Jerusalem, and his mother's name was Makah. Makah and the daughter of Absalom. Mm. And he walked in all the way, and he walked in all the sins of his father. Mm -hmm. which See, he, he was walking just like his father, read. Which he had done before him. Uh -huh. And his heart was not perfect with the Lord his God, as the heart of David his father. Mm -hmm. Keep reading. Nevertheless, for David's sake did the Lord his God give him a lamp in Jerusalem. Why? To set up his son after him and to establish Jerusalem. Uh -huh. And what else happened? Because David did that which was right in the eyes of the Lord. David did that which was right in the eyes of the Lord. This is 2019 and we still read the good name and report of David. That's right. King David. That's right. The thing is, David made sure when he was living, he was serving God. Mm hmm. Top of five again, brother. Because David did that which was right in the eyes of the Lord. David did that which was right in the eyes of the Lord. What else he do? And turned not aside from anything that he commanded him in all the days of his life. Look at this report right here. This is David's report. What else? Save only. Only this thing. In the matter of Uriah the Hittite. That, look, one thing. But he still was good in the eyes of God. Yeah. Plain and simple as that. He got a good report with God. That's right. He won't be in the kingdom. Plain and simple as that. Mm -hmm. So now, what would your report say about you if today was your last? Come on. I, I, I've seen people die in their sleep. You know, you might step out the house to go to the store or get in your vehicle and get smacked by a truck or something. Mm. You don't know. You don't know. Your bounds is in the hands of God. Mm -hmm. So you need to ask yourself, what would your report say about you? the Lord come wake you up and like like pot said pull that folder so now let's let's keep going brother let's go to Isaiah 38 mm -hmm. Isaiah 38 we're gonna pick it up at verse 1 brother Isaiah 38 verse 1 all right because you need to serve God while you are alive. Yes, sir. That means while you're breathing, you can see. Serve God now. Right. Because you, you, you can't serve God from the grave. That's right. It's over. It's done. Mm -hmm. A living dog is better than a dead lion. That's right. I'd rather be a living dog any day and serve the Lord. And have a chance. Bro. And have that chance. Mm -hmm. Than be somebody that had all this money and died with pride. Man, skip all that. Mm -hmm. I ain't got time for that. Give me verse one, brother. Go ahead. And in those days was Hezekiah sick unto death. Mm -hmm. And Isaiah the prophet, the son of Amos, came unto him uh -huh. and, and said unto him, Thus saith the Lord, set thine house in order. Look at that. God told this man to set your house in order. Why did he say that? For thou shalt die and not live. Look, God gave him warning. You about to die and not live. Mm. He sent a prophet to him. Right. right. Wow. Okay. Keep reading. Then Hezekiah turned his face toward the wall and prayed unto the Lord. He started praying to God. What else happened, brother? And said, what did he say? Remember now. He, he said, what? Remember now. He, he said, remember now. Sound like what Job said. Remember me. Mm -hmm. 
But now the question again is, what is Hezekiah asking the Lord to remember now? Remember what? Read. Oh, remember now, O oh Lord, I beseech thee, mm -hmm. how I have walked before thee in truth. How he what? How I walked before thee in truth. And what and else? With a perfect heart. And with a perfect heart. What else? And have done that which is which is good in thy sight. He did that which was good in his sight. See that? This man has a good report with God. Right. Yes, and sir. the Lord about to do something. Keep reading. Right. <clears throat> good. Eyesight. And Hezekiah wept sore. Mm -hmm. Verse four. Then came the word of the Lord to Isaiah, saying, go and say to Hezekiah, thus saith the Lord, the God of David, thy father. Mm -hmm. I have heard thy prayer. He said, I heard your prayer. What else? I have seen thy tears. Yes. Behold, I will add unto, the, unto thy days 15 years. Obviously, this report was so good, he added 15 years to this man's life. Hey. Can you say that? You, listen, if today was your last, what would your report say? Lord, give me another chance. Give me one more. <laughs> no, don't. <laughs> so let's, let's skip down now, brother. <laughs> skip down to verse 19. That's funny, but <laughs> no, uh, verse 18. Got you. For the grave cannot praise oh, thee. Oh, he said the grave can't praise thee. What else? Death cannot celebrate You can't thee. do none of this from the grave. That's right. That's why you need to do it now. Mm -hmm. Now is the time. Now is the time where you building your name for the Lord, building your report for God. Yes, sir. What else? For, for the grave cannot praise thee. Death cannot celebrate thee. Death can't celebrate thee. What else? They go down into the pit. They that go down into the pit cannot hope for thy truth. Mm -hmm. Keep reading. The living, the living. The living, the living. What about the living? He shall praise thee. He shall praise thee. You need to praise God while you breathe it. Seek the Lord while he may be found while you still have breath. Yes, sir. Keep reading. <laughs> As I do this day, the father to the children shall make known thy truth. There it is. All right. <laughs> let's go to uh, let's go to Mark. Mark, Mark 14. Yes, right, sir. All right. Yes, sir. Mark 14. Let's look at something else real Praise fast before we get a little deeper into it. it ain't even that deep, really. Mm -hmm. But we're just going to point out some things. Go to Mark 14. Yes, sir. And, uh, Give me verse 10. Pick it up at verse 10. All right. Mark 14, mm -hmm. verse 10. Mm -hmm. And Judas Iscariot. Because first of all, hold on. You need to understand that what we about to read, Judas cannot fix. He cannot fix this. He is dead now. Yeah. 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 But we're going to do a little reading about him. Just a little bit. Not much. Okay. Just, just a little taste. Yeah. Just a little taste. All right. You understand what I'm saying? Yes, sir. So now let's go to. Uh, give me verse 10. Mark 14 and verse 10, brother, get it. And Judas Iscariot, mm -hmm. one of the twelve, went into the chief priest. Okay, so we're reading about Judas. And it says right here he was one of the twelve. Yes, he was. He was one of those that was walking with the Lord Jesus. He was walking with Christ. And Judas Iscariot, one of the twelve, what? Went unto the chief priest to betray him oh, unto them. Oh, my goodness. He went to betray the Lord. And what else? And when, it, and when they heard it, they were glad and promised to give him money. Mm -hmm. And he sought how he might conveniently betray him. Oh, man. Let's, let's see what Jesus has to say about this. Go down to 17, brother. All right. Mm -hmm. you, you, why, why are we reading this? Because it's a report. It's a report. It's a report. Right. Everybody knows Judas. They don't want to be him. They, I wouldn't want to be him. Go ahead, brother. Read. 17. 17. And in the evening, he, co he cometh with the twelve. Mm -hmm. And as they sat at, and did eat, Jesus said, Verily, I say unto you, one of you which eateth with me shall betray me. Mm -hmm. And they began to be sorrowful and to say unto, unto him, one by one, is it I? Is it I? And another, and another said, is it I? Uh-huh. So, you know, you can read another place where they all asking, you know, is it me? You know, and... Judas probably there. Is it me, Lord? Chester Cat <laughs> smiled. Are you serious? Verse twenty. Verse twenty, brother, read it. And he and he and he and he answered and said unto them, "It is the it is one of the twelve. Jesus said, "It's one of the twelve. One of his. 
one of his disciples. It's one of the twelve. What about this twelve? That dippeth with me in the dish. And what about him? The son of man indeed goeth, as it is written of him. Mm -hmm. But woe to that man. Read by, that again. But woe. But woe. To that man by whom the son of man is betrayed. Ooh, why did he say, but woe to that man? Read. Good. Good were it for him, for that man if he had never been born. Man, he said this guy sh should never been born. It would have been better if this man was never born. D this is a report right here. But let's go a little further. Let's, let's see why. Why did Jesus say that? Let's go read it. Let's go to um, Matthew 27. Matthew 27, brother. Man, time is flying. Are yeah, you serious? You I got to pick it up. All right, Matthew 27. You're having fun, right? Mm-hmm. Beautiful. 27. 27 and 3. Matthew 27 and 3. Yes, sir. All right, get it? Get it. Then Judas, which had betrayed him, when mm -hmm. he saw that he was condemned, repented himself and brought again the 30 pieces of silver See, to because the first of all, he thought everything was a game. You can't serve God and play around. Right. Right? So go ahead, finish. And brought the 30, 30 pieces of silver to the chief priest and elder, and what, saying, I have sinned in that I have betrayed the innocent blood. Oh, now you're starting to take it serious. He was talking about you when he said what, it, it was better for him that he shouldn't have been born. born. Right. Read. And they said, what is, what is that to us? See thou, see thou that to it. You, you, you see how, man, listen. Woo, keep reading. Keep see reading. See thou to that. All right. Mm -hmm. And, and, and when, he what cast Judas down... Did? Verse 5, and he cast down the pieces of silver in the temple uh -huh. and departed and went and hung himself. He, he, hanged did, himself. he went and hanged himself. He hanged himself. Oh, man. You already betrayed the Lord. And then then you, man, you just, your record is terrible, <laughs> man. There's it's, it's nothing good about that, man. Right. Thou shalt not kill, right? Kill, so kill. how can he fix this if he's in the grave? Can't. So again, what does your report say about you? If today was your last, mm. this is why you need to consider death, right? right? So now let's keep moving, brother. Go to um, now nah, let's go to Ecclesiastes real quick. All right, chapter seven. Right? Seven. Yep. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm gonna mix that up real fast. Right, Ecclesiastes gotcha. chapter seven. I got you. All right. Maybe I should have kept it that way, but nah, it's all good. Ecclesiastes chapter seven, and give me verse one, brother. A good ready. Yes, sir. A good name is better than precious ointment mm -hmm. and the day of death than the day of one's birth. So notice what he says here. He said a good name is better than precious ointment. Mm -hmm. And then notice what he said. And the, the, uh, and the day of death than the day of one's birth. See, because first of all, Job told us, you know, man is full of trouble. That's what he told us. Right. And we're going to die eventually. Mm -hmm. But notice what comes after death salvation if you're doing this thing right, right. Mm -hmm. so what the next verse say brother it is it is better to go to the house of mourning notice what he said is better to go to the house of mourning than what than to go to the house of feasting than to go to the house of feasting well what that mean it's better to go to the house of mourning you need sometimes it's cool to be going around a house where where people are dead to funerals it, you need to see that stuff mm -hmm. to remind you you will die someday right it ain't always cool to party all the time. Right. If I'm in a house party or a block party, I, when am I ever thinking about death? Right. Well, until little Meek Meek come around with an AK and start AKing people, because <laughs> they do shoot up parties. Yes, they do, brother. Yes, they do. And, and, man, I'm, listen, man, read that again. Verse 2. It is better to go to the house of mourning. Mm -hmm. than Sometimes you need to see that to remind you about death. You know, some of us don't consider death until it's at your front door. That's right. You know, and, and that's right. I, that was me. That was me one time. Mm -hmm. But that's, that's behind me. Keep reading. Then to go to the house of feasting. Mm -hmm. for, that, for that is the end of all men. And what? And the living will lay it to his heart. Okay, now go back to... Um, Hebrews 11. Hebrews 11. Nah, skip that. Let's go to Acts chapter 10. Got gotcha. you. Acts chapter 10, real All fast. Right. Mm -hmm. Acts chapter 10. Got gotcha. you. And give me uh, verse 1, brother. Acts, Acts 10 chapter 1. 10. Yep, yes, sir. 
There was there was a certain man in Caesarea called Cornelius, mm -hmm. a centurion of the band called the Italian band. And now the last time I checked, an Italian was a Gentile, but That's we right. ain't here for that. So we talking about Cornelius right here, right? What about Cornelius? Read it. A devout man. He was devout. And one that feared God. He with feared God. That's an ingredient you people need to keep God's commandments. That's Ain't right. nobody going to keep God's commandments right. if you don't fear him. That's right. Ain't nobody preaching the uh, lake of fire out there. Mm -mm. That's why you can serve God the way you're going to serve God. And you believe that because nobody's preaching the truth to you. What else did he do, brother? A devout man, one that feared God with all his house, mm -hmm. which gave much alms to the people and prayed to God always. Sound like he had charity, too. Yes, he did. Okay, well, jump down, brother. Let's see what else. 21. 21. Yes, sir. <clears throat> Let's look at this report. Then Peter went down to the men, went down to the men which were sent unto him mm -hmm. from Cornelius and said, Behold, I am, I am he whom ye seek. What is the cause wherefore ye are come? And they what? And they said, Cornelius, the centurion, a man, a just man. A just man? What else about it? And one that feared God. Again, he feared God. What else? And of good report. And of good report. That's right. Cornelius got a good name with God. What else? Among all the nations of the Jews. Ooh, great. Keep reading. And was warned from God by an, a holy angel to send for thee unto his house mm -hmm. and to hear words of thee. All right, let's go to, um, let's go to, uh, I'm going to have to skip, do some skipping. Let me go, let's, let's get, uh, all right, go, go to third James 3. James. I mean, uh, third, uh, third James. Third James. John 3. John, John 3. John 3. Gotcha. <laughs> it's all good. I was like, well, I was trying I to I didn't even you. know the Bible I had a 3. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I didn't know I was that. trying to catch you, brother. <laughs> okay. First John 3. That, that's a new book to me, then. Yeah. Or John 3. Just right uh, Same John 3. John 3. Uh, uh, John, uh, the third John. The third John. <laughs> the third John. The epistles, brother. Yeah. Dude. All right, mm -hmm. gotcha, gotcha. And give me uh, verse, uh, how do you mess that up? I'm talking about myself. <laughs> and give me verse 1, brother. All right, here we go. Yo, no, skip it, skip it. Give me verse uh, 9. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, Whosoever born of God did not... Commit sin, for a seed remaineth no, in No, 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 no. John, the third, the third book. Oh, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. Got you, brother. In verse 9. All right. I wrote, to, I wrote unto the church, but Diotrephes, who, who loved to have the preeminence among them, received us not. Wherefore, if I come... I will remember his deeds, which he doeth, uh -huh. pratting against us with malicious words and not content therewith. Mm -hmm. Neither doth he himself receive the brethren. Give me verse 12. All right. Demetrius hath, hath, a, hath good report of all men uh -huh. and of the, truth of, its, it, of the truth itself. Yea, we also and we also bear record and ye know that our report is true. Hebrews 9, 27. Hebrews 9, 27. So again, the question would be, if today was your last, because you tomorrow's not promised to you, what would your report show? Right? Mm -hmm. 9 to 27, read it. And as it is appointed unto men once to die. It, as appointed to men once to die, what? Because God got that bound in his hand. Read. But after this, the judgment. After this, the judgment, what? So Christ was once offered to bear the No, that's it. And as it was appointed unto man was to die, but after this, the judgment. What that mean? After you die, the next thing you're going to see is God. That's right. Give me Malachi chapter 3 real fast, brother. Malachi chapter 3. Gotcha. This would be it, brother. Malachi chapter 3. Mm -hmm. So you want your, you, yeah, got it. Uh, Malachi chapter 3 and kick it off at 13, brother. 3 and 13. So. Our goal is to get what? Read it. Your, your words have been stout against me, said the Lord. Yet, yet ye say, what have we spoken so much against thee? Mm -hmm. Skip have, down. Give me 16. Then they, then, they, then they that feared the Lord spake off one to another, and the Lord hearkened and heard it, and a book of remembrance was written before him. Well, how for who? For them that feared the Lord. For them that feared the Lord. You want your name in that book of remembrance. 
Don't you want your name in there? Yes, sir. Keep reading. And and that thought upon his name. Uh -huh. And they shall be mine, saith the Lord of hosts. Uh -huh. In that day when I make up my jewels yes. and I will spare them as a man spareth his own son that serveth him. Uh -huh. They shall return and discern between the righteous and the wicked, between him that serveth God and him that serveth him not. And I thank you for your time. That was right on the